right, let's get some common health questions right now. Joining us with the answers to your questions, News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. And thank you so much. We're going to keep it on the cold weather tip here, doctor. <laughs> Sounds good. It's hard to avoid. Uh -huh. A lot of people have moved here, obviously, from up north. So does your blood really thin out? Is that why we get colder, so to speak, when it's not yeah. as cold as it is up north? You know, we hear this all the time, and I just want to put, put, put an end to it right now. Okay. It is absolutely a myth. Your blood does not thin out in colder weather. You do not get anemia, and you do not have any problems clotting in warmer weather. However, there is some truth to the fact that you do become more cold intolerant, meaning once you've been in warmer weather, you feel a bit more colder in the same temperature than you did when you were up north. Now, why is that? Well, we think a couple of things, really. One is over time, when you're in warmer weather, you lose body fat. And that body fat acts as insulation for your body in colder weather. Lose a little bit of that, you feel a little bit colder when the cold weather comes. The second reason is we think that really has to do with blood flow. The capillaries on the skin dilate in warm weather, and once you're in warmer weather for longer periods of time, it takes longer for them to constrict when you hit the cold weather, and so you feel colder longer until your body adjusts. Okay. Pretty simple stuff. So if you do feel colder longer, you don't, need a, you don't need a doctor, you don't need a transfusion, you really need a coat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know. And your friends up north, uh, <laughs> yeah, because they say you're a wimp now, right? <laughs> exactly. All exactly. right, another question. Does honey help when you have the flu? Is that just an old wives' tale? You know what? Uh, honey is really a very valuable thing. It's kind of like okay. chicken soup. It's one of those things that really, you know, it, it doesn't really hurt, but it absolutely can help. It's okay. been shown to do a few things. One is it bolsters the immunity. Second is it actually has antibacterial or antimicrobial properties. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, too, is that it soothes the raw mucosal tissue like a sore throat. There was actually a study that was published in the Journal of Pediatrics that showed that for children, nighttime cough, very significant relief. You could drink it in your tea or you could mm -hmm. take it plain, but one thing I don't want you to do is give it to children less than one years old. Okay. Otherwise, very effective. Dip in. Doesn't taste too bad going down either. All, <laughs> all right. All. Maybe you have a question for Dr. David Saria. You can send it in. Go to our website, WPTV.com. Click on the health link. Just scroll down on the right hand side. You'll see a form to write your question. All right, Doctor, as always, thank you for coming in. You're we'll welcome. see you next week. And we are back right after this.